Welcome back to another Quick Tips Clip Studio Paint tutorial. I'm a Shy Fox, and today we are going to learn how to reset Clip Studio Paint back to all the defaults or how to reset certain aspects of the program to defaults, such as resetting your workspace to the default workspace. And for me, I wanted to reset all my Clip Studio Paint uh, aspects of it for the purpose of making it easier to follow for my other art tutorials that I've been doing and uh, have all the brushes back to defaults, all the tools, everything, so that when people follow my tutorials, it would be easier to follow. So if you're wondering how to reset uh, your defaults, that is what I'm gonna show you today. And uh, I have a lot of digital art tutorials on my channel and you can check those out if you want. Now, where we're going to get started is we actually need to close Clip Studio Paint. That's sort of the first thing. All right. And from here, we can shift, click, shift. And this is on PC. I'm going to show you iPad and as well. Uh, so this is for PC and Mac. So sh in your Clip Studio menu, sh hold shift, and then you can left click to open. And then it should launch Clip Studio Paint. At first, I didn't see it launch, so you may have to just go and open it, and, like click it in your um, taskbar menu to, to open it up. And then from here, this dialog box comes up and it's saying that you can reset any of these within the program. And the nice thing is it's not, all, you know, a one all deal where you have to reset everything you can actually pick. So for example, I went ahead and I want to reset the tools, brush size, uh, shape and brush size, color set gradient. So I just went ahead and picked a bunch of things that I wanted to reset. Things I left alone was I already liked my shortcut settings. I left that things like that. So you can read um, what each of these actually does, like default canvas size in the info. If you just look down at the bottom here, hover over it and it says default sizes for creating new canvases will be reset to their original defaults. All newly added default sizes will be deleted. So it's just letting you know what's going to happen if you agree to that. So one of the other ones was a workspace for me. So I recently just did this, but I'm just going to go ahead and reset some of these and it will show you once you click OK. Do you want to reset? Yes, I do. Uh, then it will launch Clip Studio Paint and we're looking at the original Clip Studio Paint um, workspace and everything. So it's just nice to have this uh, for me again. So that's how you're going to do it on PC. And now I'm going to show you how to do it on the iPad. So first thing again, similar, you want to close Clip Studio Paint. So make sure it's not running in the background either. And then you're going to go to settings and you need to scroll uh, in your settings to find Clip Studio Paint. Mm -mm -mm. Where is it? Here it is. And then you're going to see at the bottom initialization startup. So you're going to turn that on and then you can open Clip Studio. And then when it opens, you get the exact same dialog box. So you're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing and then it's going to reset it. I'm not going to reset this, so I'm going to click cancel. But that is all there is to it. Have a great day, you guys. Happy painting.